like a fire can burn hot and then run cold. The COVID-19 pandemic has subsequently locked down and the economic crisis weakened the faith of some believers. It kind of went down, eh? yeah, because initially we were used to going to church like to pray. That's the tradition we had in us. Like for us to pray, we had to go to church. But then it forced us to stay home. So at some point it deteriorated. Most of the time I was sad. Not going to church and all this affected me. It affected me very much. Because I know that when I come around here, these holy matters usually intercede for us. So I missed a great deal. Uh, COVID did not affect my faith as such because what I observed in COVID, before COVID, I not have enough time to pray. But during the two years, I got ample time to worship God. Evidently, faith is being rekindled. The faithful are returning to God, rededicating their lives to Him and renewing their commitment to Him. My children went to school, no jobs. My daughters are not married. All this misfortune. So I've thought myself that maybe I can at least witness these people who really surrender their life for the Lord. I had a lot of problems. Domestic problems were too many. So I felt a relief to come this way and to pray to God so that I am relieved. I feel that urge that when it's sad, when it's sad, and I start making preparations to come and meet friends, come and get that, that blessing from the holy matters. As the Bible says in the book of James, if we draw near to God, he will draw near to us. We asked some believers how they plan to keep their faith strong throughout the year. My faith hasn't come back to that level because right now at least I don't attend church as regularly as I used to. Praying it's every day, reading the Bible, who is the and Jesus? as I have he already received Jesus Christ the, as my Savior, He's the one who leads me during all my life. For us all. And I hope will he I will be with also. Him in heaven when He'll come Give to take us. All. It's through prayer, nothing else. I stay with my strong belief. Now like uh, this, this of the Uganda matters. Yeah, it is a very good example to us Catholics. Some believers have also stocked up on holy water to protect themselves against evil. Even my kids can be sick. I can wash it, my kids that water. And because I have faith from the love in uh, the in the Who blessed water, I know that God will make something to my kids. The water helps me. Whenever I get a problem, not even when I get a problem, I, I stay hopeful. I stay with that faith when I look at this water. I am Gillian Nantume, and I hand over to my colleague, Nobata Tkunda, to expound more on the holy water.